there's more than one way to watch a football game. Obviously, hundreds of thousands of people like to be there and see it when it happens. An even larger group likes to watch on television, thanks to slow mos and instant replays. Anthony Carter in the ball game, and he is the wide man out of the picture. And to the open side of the field, Vicky looking for it, throws it to the short man. The pass caught by Doug Marsh, the tight end, and Marsh has a first down at the Notre Dame 47-yard line. A sensational catch. Tom Gibbons, the safety man, gambled by coming underneath the close shoulder. We'll watch this. It's a bootleg pass pattern, running play action. The first choice were covered. He looks back and turns up and finds Marsh. Watch Gibbons come in front. He should be taught to go through the back shoulder. Then if he misses the ball, he collisions the receiver. But there's another side to that telecast with pictures you don't see and voices you don't hear. All necessary to make things work. Okay, and take seven. All right, take seven. Matt Allen, two. Dump it, take one. I don't know. A little too tight is right, Eddie. Just to, yeah, right to there. Okay, tape machine one should record. Give me tight on the quarterback, five. Take five. Stand by one. Take one. Uh, we have it on eight. Do you have it, eight? Get him tight, five. Take seven. Take seven. Number 80. Number 80. Five, number 80. That's what I need you. And wipe the slum away. Go. <laughs> no, I just want his name on these. I don't want all this information. Just Doug Marsh. Yeah. All right, put one to slow mo B. The men charged with the responsibility of selecting the shots you do see are producer Chuck Howard and director Andy Sedaris. Actually, we do it pretty well. We've been together for 14 years, uh, same crew, same cameraman, and they, we give them numbers, and they, uh, our cameramen are so good that they feel a ball game right along with us so that, uh, you know, as, as uh, different ball players start to uh, perform better, we uh, isolate off on them, and naturally we have a choice. For instance, in, in a ball game, we're isolated on three people, sometimes four, depending on the number of cameras and the isolated uh, sources that we have so that we can... Um, we're looking at four out of 22 ball players, and we're guessing. We're second guessing. We're going to naturally go with the best linebackers and the best defensive men during running plays. We'll isolate on three receivers during a passing play and just hope one of the boys performs for us. I set the isolates off. In other words, uh, Chuck and I discussed the night before who will be isolated, which defensive players. And Chuck looks at the slow mo monitors because I'm busy watching the ball game, you know, looking for close ups, et cetera. Out of the corner of my eye, however, I'm seeing what's happening. We both decide. Chuck primarily is my eyes on the slow mo, though. And he'll say, Andy, we've got it we've got a good uh, tackle uh, on the guy we were isolated on and so uh, we take it back at that point so we coordinate it between us that's the one thing we coordinate all the way through a ball game for the uninitiated what goes on in getting that back on the air in an instant uh, the tape operator will look down at the start of a play and see his clock and let's say into his uh, into his uh, tape uh, it's 20 minutes and 15 seconds as the as the fellows come up to the line of scrimmage he'll know at that point that if that play is going to be used he backs it up instantly to 20 minutes and 15 seconds and then he will roll it forward at a, when we tell him to roll it forward and it, it rolls uh, at either a normal speed or a slow motion speed depending on what we want and how much time we have in between plays how many people involved in this crew oh I'd say our crew is about 60 engineers and uh, about 20 in uh, production. They think as fast or faster sometimes than Chuck and I do, and they anticipate us, which helps a lot, as you know, being in this business, when you've got people that are right on top of it. How many hours involved in doing just one game? Well, the crew usually starts, to, they start traveling on uh, Tuesday, and they start setting up Wednesday and Thursday, so it's, you know, it's a full week for every ball game uh, from the first time the crew breaks out to uh, set up at a stadium. Would you want to do anything else? Uh, no, I, I, uh, I do features every now and then. Uh, I'm going to do another one next year, but I direct and produce motion pictures, but uh, that's uh, therapy. This is really what I love. I've been doing it since I was 19 years old. 80 people in a week's work, all for a three-hour telecast, and you thought it was easy. But then maybe it is for these pros from ABC who do it every week of the fall. Next, some memories of Michigan football when we continue in a moment. Stand by commercial five. Is this an order? Seven to commercial. Six. Five to commercial five. Four. Three to commercial five. Two. One.